obtained first by ABC News. You can hear the officers calling out the man living inside, Dwayne Keith Davis, known as Keefy D, who has claimed he is one of only two surviving eyewitnesses to the murder of Tupac Shakur. Keep walking back, take a step to your left, step to your left. Police order him out of the home and then move in to begin searching for a list of items that could tie him to the murder. The faces of officers blurred by Las Vegas police and portions of the video redacted. ABC News learning now bullets retrieved from the inside of the home during this search did not match the shell casings from the scene of the crime. Shakur was shot multiple times while sitting in the passenger seat at a red light near the Las Vegas Strip in 1996. Suge Knight, CEO of Shakur's record label Death Row Records, was in the driver's seat. Knight is currently in prison for a 2015 fatal hit and run. He's refused to share with police any details about the shooting. If you knew who killed Tupac, would you tell the police? Absolutely not. I don't get paid to solve homicides. In 2018, Davis appeared in the BET documentary series of Death Row Chronicles, saying that he was in the car with the shooter. You said the shots came from the back. Who shot Tupac? They keep it for the cold of the streets. It just came from the back seat for